I'm seeing two different data streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Valhalla Part 2. Before we select her character, if you read the subtitles down below earlier on, you'll see the name Layla. That's Layla Hassan. She's back to relive the memories in this game for Eivor of the Raven Clan in the Viking Age. Previously, in the last two games, she relived the memories for Cassandra and her brother, depending on who you chose, in Odyssey, set in ancient Greece, and for Bayat in Origins, set in ancient Egypt. Back then, she was overseen by Dr. Victoria Bibau, but I know nothing about what happened to her because I've completed those two games yet. This time, we're accompanied and overseen by somebody called the Operator, so we have to learn more about that person as well. If you want to be female, you can choose left. If you want to be male, you can choose right. But if you want the Animus to choose for you, you can go in the middle and it will choose at random whether you play as male or female during the story. What I'm going to do is play as a male Ivor, lock that in, and we're going to begin. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. <clears throat> How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew. Make them suffer. Eivor Wolfkiss is no more. That name is dead to this world. You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> uh, to the ship. Uh. You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs> Location discovered, Pylebor. And we are in Norway, 872 CE. And our first quest is Honor Bound. So let's take a look at that. Quest Log. The quest log keeps tracks of your progress in active territories and quests. Territories throughout your adventures and their quests will be displayed. Quests and tracking. Tracking a quest will update the information shown on the map, compass, and in-game log. Okay, so here we are, honor bound. 
Part of the Battle for the Northern Way, Chapter 1. A Viking hero must rescue their crew from a mortal enemy. Find and rescue your crew. So if you want to learn about anything in the game, you go to tutorials and everything is all in the list here and displayed on the right hand side depending on whatever you click on, top to bottom. And in the database you can learn about places, people and everything we uncovered during the game. So let's find out a bit about Norway. Norway is home to people as beautiful and harsh as the unforgiving land that birthed them. Its frozen fields, majestic mountains and fathomless fjords are the setting for deeds desperate and heroic made famous through saga and song. Not a bad start for a novel, is it? Saving this one for later. Right, let's check out about the bandits. Bandit groups thrived in the 9th century and were found all across the Seven Kingdom. They were mostly made up of the impoverished, disenfranchised and the plain scoundrels who sought to make a living of violence and intimidation. Right, let's see how different the Vikings are to the bandits. In Old Norse, a Viking was a Norse man or woman who went raiding for gain and glory, both for themselves and their clan. To go a Viking was one of the most exciting feats of bravery anyone could imagine. Over time, the word Viking became a general term to describe the hordes of Norsemen who raided and settled various parts of Europe between the 8th and 11th centuries. Somewhat less barbaric than their initial depictions, Vikings were in fact part of a larger and more complex social structure, as likely to trade with another culture instead of killing them. Okay, let's scout the area, see what there is. So we've got a hut there, and then one above it, one above that, past the tents is another one, and then one on the right. So what we'll do is we'll go from the left all the way around to the right, starting with this far left cabin over here. My crew is in danger. I need to reach them. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't seem like we can get into this one. It looks like it's completely blocked off. So let's try the next one along. Feel better, stronger. It's 
Save that for later. New location discovered. Grab your falcon. our first viewpoint synchronized let's take a look around and see Show what we me. can do also we can check out the amazing work that Ubisoft have done for the landscape as well there's a um, treasure there we can go and get or wealth as it's called in this game there's more over there further out look at that sun coming through the clouds that's just beautiful right here we don't have the leap of faith just yet so we have to do a standard job so by pushing forward in A, A will just jump normally. Much land in the water, climb out because if the edges of the screen freeze up too much, you'll desynchronize and die because your body can't handle the cold. <laughs> Let's head over now and pick up that wealth we've just marked. It's 400 and some meters away, so it's not that far to go. We're on foot, we haven't got any other transport at the moment, so it has to be One everywhere. Of the men. I need to be careful. Everywhere on foot. What I do like about the game and what Ubisoft have done so far is uh, also like that you can slide into a crouch. That's another great move. Um yeah, I do like the fact that Ubisoft haven't implemented the automatic leap of faith. They've left that out for a while. Because every single Assassin's Creed game before this, you've had an automatic leap of faith. And you never knew how the Assassin found out about it, how they got their knowledge of it, and how they were able to perform it. They just did it every single time during the game. So, 
hopefully we can learn in this game, you know, about the Leap of Faith, how it came about, and how we actually managed to start using it. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So, as I said, I'm glad Ubisoft haven't put Level that in as an automatic here. thing again. Right, we're into the restricted area. There's two guards to the left, so let's see if we can take them out stealthy without being seen. Nice. I got the second one just before he had a chance to get onto full alert. Sweet. Oh, look at this. This is what is annoying about this game. It's so on and off about breaking objects. You saw earlier, some of them I hit with no problem, and this time, look at it. All over the place. The mechanics for breaking objects is just awful in this game. It really is. Let's get uh, rid of these bodies. Get rid of the evidence, as a true assassin would. Go back and get the other one. Get rid of him as well. see one more guard over there behind that rock just to the left he's up there by the campfire and they try and take him out I think I can hit a long shot from here oh can it be done no it will only take half of his energy so it's not worth doing we'll have to get a bit closer maybe I can do it from here just down behind this little rock here you can see me but not in full of that yes we got him nice Let's go and uh, get rid of his body as well. See if there's anything around here we can collect and then we'll go and pick up that wealth. I can see some treasure underneath that ice wall. Or, oh, and there's another one as well as I've turned around. So there's two other ones in this area as well as the one we're going for. <laughs> Don't quite know where they all are yet. I'll have to come back and try and find those in a minute. Maybe on the way back before we leave this area. I won't get everything, but I'll try and get as much as I can before I leave. But if it's not accessible then obviously I'll come back at some other time and try and pick that up then Right, so we've got the wealth we came for, the carbon ingot. Let's go down and then go back and see if we can find the uh, the other ones that we saw before we came over here.
I must be careful now. Too cold. My blood freezes. Found one. There's one down there to our right. Looks like it's underwater, so we might have to swim down to get this one. Let's take a look. It's not down there, so where is it? Oh, it's down there. Looks like it's inside a shipwreck or something. Let's find a way in. Can't get in there. It's like an invisible wall. What about the other side? Oh, yeah, there's a hole there, so we swim straight in. Okay. And I can't see what I'm doing, moving the camera, because all the wood's in the way. There we go. Got it. Now let's get back to the surface before we end up dying in this frozen, icy water. I should be cautious around here. <laughs> right, showing up to my right is directly under where we're standing. So how would we actually get in there? Do you know what? I don't know. And I think we've spent enough time in this area, so I'm going to move on with the rest of the story. We've collected the wealth that we came here for. We've also got the one from the shipwreck as well. I don't want to waste time in the video trying to find a location for that other one. And it's not particularly important. As I said, we can always come back and look for it at some other time. We're not, not ever going to get it. So let's continue on. Be my There's eye. some more wealth over there, but that's right near our next destination, so perhaps we can pick that up in the same area. Alright, let's get going. A clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. No! <laughs> Bag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davalt's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the long ship? You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Okay, let's take a look at our inventory. We haven't got a lot, but we do have a new shield that we can equip that Dad's just given us. 
There are three main slots for weapons. Each weapon is unique and comes with its own fighting style. The icon is displayed when a new piece of gear is looted. Weapons equipped in the main hand will supply your main source of damage and fighting style. Shields can also be equipped in the hand for a more defensive approach. A weapon or shield can be equipped in the secondary hand to offer a supporting fighting style. Two-handed weapons will use both weapon slots. Alongside your melee weapon, the bow is always equipped for long-range attacks. There are three types of bow, each uses its own ammo. See the stats page in the inventory to have more details on your current build. So, currently equipped is the Raider Axe. Next to that, in a separate slot, is the Shield. But we're going to keep the Axe in the right hand. And we're going to equip the Shield in the left hand. So we're going to move across. Down here. There's the Shield. We'll equip that. And now we have the Shield in the left and the Axe on the right. So we have an attack and a defensive approach as well. We haven't got any other outfits or any other weapons at this time. This is what we are currently wearing. But we'll get some better stuff. Because I've got the season pass. So I'll get the Berserker outfit and some other extras as well as some other outfits. On a bound quest is still the same. Find and rescue your crew. So that's what we're about to do right now. Cut this warriors crawl through Avil's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. The longhouse. My crew should be inside. our second wealth, carbon ingot number two. We're doing well so far, we haven't been caught by anybody, so stealth is working very well at the moment. Have a look soon, in there. Should be an opening in the roof. Can't see anything to the left. There's one guy to the right, but I don't think he'll see us if we come across and climb up now. So I think we're in the clear. Get up onto the roof. Yeah. So we've essentially got into this area without anyone even knowing that we're here. Nice. <laughs> like that and my axe will miss your neck unpleasant for both of us if i'm to die i want to make a mess of it back out
You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Die. I will sell you to hell herself! <laughs> Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! You suck of shit! Stamina is consumed when dodging or missing an attack. When out of stamina, you can't dodge or block until it's been fully replenished. Stamina is restored over time and when landing, light attack. <laughs> Well, oh, a bit late telling me that now, isn't it? I've been using it for the last few moments during yeah. this battle. Why bring it up now? held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! What? Oh, yes, of course. Fight well fought, Wolf. Many thanks, friend. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. New gear has just become available. Let's check that out. What the Raven Clan cloak on? Everything Raven aligned. So, Raven Clan armor, the axe, from the Raider axe to Varin's axe, because that's much better than the one we had. Then I want the braces, now I want the breeches for the feet, and we're done. We're good to go. Nothing else needs doing. So, this armor is only temporary until the season pass activates and we get the Berserker outfit and then we can swap that over and that will be more superior to what we're wearing now. Right, quests. Reach your longship is now the new objective. Anything we can look at in the database before we end the video? We know about Norway. Bandits and the Vikings. Ah, we've got something about the militia now. Let's get some info on how the militia operate. The militia fight dirty. They throw mud and dirt to blind a 
opponents and hammer away with makeshift clubs and crude sixes. They gang up against their strongest opponent first and are perfectly happy to take cheap shots when their enemies are incapacitated. So their hints and weaknesses, we need to stay aggressive and mash our way out when grabbed. Stay on our toes if the sand hits us. Okay, so that's the tactics we use against them if we're confronted and we have to fight for mission. Right, so that's where we're going to leave it. In the next part, we will head out from here and go to our long ship and make our way back to our next destination. So, I hope you enjoyed everything you've seen so far. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Help support the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourself out there in the world and bye bye for now.